Hello children, welcome to Math Park. In our park, today we are going to learn the topic linear programming. So in this video children, what are we going to learn? So you will be able to represent linear inequality on a graph. You will be able to shade unwanted region. You will be able to find least and greatest value for given expression. So what is important when you represent an inequality on a graph? There are some rules and these are if the inequality is greater than or less than greater than equal to or less than equal to the boundary line for the region is shown by a solid line. It will be shown by a solid line. And if the inequality is greater than or less than the boundary line for the region is shown with a broken or a dashed line this way. The another thing is you are expected to shade the unwanted region. So this will leave the required region clear. So remember these three points when we are solving the problems on linear inequalities. Okay, now here you have a question. So you have three inequalities here. X is greater than equal to three. Y is greater than two. X plus Y is less than equal to eight. So you have to show the points with integer coordinates that satisfy all the three inequalities. So here children, we have to remember to shade the unwanted regions only. So first what we do is we plot, we show x is greater than or equal to 3. So when we show x is greater than or equal to 3, actually we plot, draw the graph for x is equal to 3. So we draw the graph for x is equal to 3. So this is our line and look at this, that this is with a solid line, okay, not a broken line at all because it is greater than or equal to, okay, which is included. That 3 is also included. So that is why it is a solid line. Next, we shared the unwanted region. Now, if x is greater than or equal to 3, so all those points which satisfy this inequality are going to lie on this side of the region. So the unwanted region is this, this part which is being shaded. So we have to shade the unwanted region. The ne next inequality is y is greater than 2. Now, y is greater than 2. So we will be plotting the line actually y is equal to 2. So we plot the line y is equal to 2. And look at this, it is a dotted line. So remember that this is a dotted line. Why dotted line? Because it is only greater than, okay, where 2 is not included. So always when it is greater than or less than, we show a broken line. We shade the unwanted region for this. The unwanted region for this is going to be below y is equal to because y is greater than 2. All those points which are going to lie, if I take a point here, the coordinate of y is 3, which is greater than 2. So all these are wanted regions. So we shared the unwanted region here. The next inequality is x plus y is less than or equal to 8. So for this, we will have to take the coordinates first. So we take the coordinates, we make a coordinate table. If we put x is equal to 0 in this equation, you are getting y is equal to 8. If you put y, x is equal to 8, you get y is equal to 0. Plotting these two points, we are able to draw the line x plus y is equal to 8. So we draw the line x plus y is equal to 8. So children, if I take any point over here, okay, any point over here, so this is going to be satisfying the, okay, so for example, this is the coordinate. So this is 4 and 3. So 4 plus 3, what is happening? 4 plus 3 is 7. So if it's 4 and 3 are the coordinates, if I substitute the value of x here 4 and y here 3, 4 plus 3 is 7. And 7 is, of course, less than 8. So these are the points which satisfy the inequality. So we shared the unwanted region. So unwanted region will lie above. So now what we have done is we have plotted all the three inequalities and we have shaded the unwanted region. So next, what are, are we supposed to do is we show the points with integer coordinates that satisfy all the three inequalities on the diagram. So the points which satisfy the inequality are shown over here. So you can see this point. So this is same. Yeah, 3 and 5. So this satisfies the inequality. 3 plus 5 is less than or equal to 8. Or you can say this is say 3 and 4. So 3 plus 4, 7 is of course less than or equal to 8. So these are the points, children, which satisfy this inequality. Okay, understood how to represent the inequality on the graph and how to shade the unwanted region. We further move ahead. Now with the same question, children, for these points in the part A, the part A, find the maximum value for 2x plus y. 
So the maximum to find the maximum value for 2x plus y, you have to put the points into the table and calculate the value for 2x plus y at each point. So these points will be substituting the table. So we make a table in this way, x, y, and 2x plus y. Okay. So x, if x is now, this is the point, say, so this is 3, 3. If I take this point 3, 3. So, so if I substitute in this equation, 2 into 3 plus 3. So you get 2, 3 is a 6 plus 3, which is 9. Okay. This is how we substitute these values. Okay. This is my 3, 4. And I get the value as 11. If I take this, sorry, if I take this 3 and 4, x is 3 and y is 4, I get the value as 10. If I take x is 4 and y is 3, I get the value as 11. This is how we substitute and calculate the values. Now, since we, now after calculating this value, we are asked to find the maximum. So which is maximum among this? Out of 9, 11, 13, 10, and 12, and 11, 13 is maximum. So this is how we get the maximum value of 2x plus y. So these are very important questions, children. I hope you all have understood. If not, you'll be watching this again. Okay, let's take the maximum value of 2x plus y is 30. And the maximum occurs at which points? 5, 3. So 5 and 3, these are the points. Five, your x coordinate is 5 and y coordinate is 3. So maximum is always occurring at the corner. Remember that. Okay. So maximum occurs at 5, 3. It is important to note that the maximum or minimum value will always occur at near the required region. It will always at, occur at the near the corners of the required region. Okay, always the maximum or minimum value will always occur at the near and corners of the required region. Okay, so let's take another question, children. So you have another three inequalities. X is greater than or equal to 1. Y is greater than or equal to X. And 4X plus 5Y is less than or equal to 40. So we first draw the line. Remember, you have to shade the unwanted region. So if it is x is greater than or equal to 1, we are going to plot a line x is equal to 1. So here is our line and solid line because of this greater than or equal to. The next we plot y is greater than or equal to x. So y is equal to x. So the points, if y is equal to x, means y coordinate 1 and x coordinate 1. Okay. So y2 and x2. So the line which is going to be y is equal to x will be, this is the line. Again, the solid line. Okay, now y is equal to x, which will be the unwanted region here? The unwanted region is this. Okay, if because any other point which we are going to take over here is always going to be, okay, y will be greater than or equal to x. Here, all these points below the y will be less than x. So that is why this is the unwanted region. Okay, the next inequality is 4x plus 5y is less than or equal to 40. So we actually plot the line there, 4x plus 5y is equal to 40. We take the points, if x is equal to 0, you get y is equal to 8. Substitute here, x is equal to 0. So if you get 5y is equal to 40 and then y is equal to 8. If I put x is equal to 10, if I put x is equal to 10 over here, so 4 tens are 40. So you get y is equal to 0 because... This 40 shifts here, 40 minus 40 is 0. Y is equal to 0 by 5, which is going to be 0. So we plot these points again and then draw the line. So this is again a solid line. 4x plus 5y is equal to 40. Now the unwanted region here is going to be this portion. Okay, because any point which we take over here is going to satisfy this inequality. So if I take this point over here, say my point is 4 and 7. If I substitute in this equation, I'll find that this does not satisfy this inequality. So this is the unwanted region. Now we have plotted all the three inequalities. We have shaded the unwanted region. So next we are asked to show the points with integer coordinates that satisfy all the three inequalities on the diagram. So these are the points at the corners which satisfy all the three inequalities. Okay. Got it? So they will be, these all these points will be satisfying all the three inequalities. You can substitute and then check. Now, for the points in the part A, find the minimum. Last question, we have found maximum, the minimum value for 10x plus y. So we make a table here, children. Put the corner points in the table and calculate the value 
or 10x plus y. So now if I take the point as one, so corner points, okay. So if I take this point, say 1 and 7, so this is my point 1 and 7. I substitute in this equation. So 10 into 1 plus 3 into 7. So I get 10 plus 7, 3 is 21, which I get 31. I take another point, say 1 and 1. So this is the point at the corners. Remember that the maximum and minimum value always lies at the corners. So we'll be taking the corner points. So we take 1 and 1. So we substitute in this equation, x is equal to 1. So 10 into 1 plus 3 into 1. So what are we getting? 10 plus 3, we are getting 13. If I take this point 4 and 4, I'm getting 10 into 4 plus 3 into 4. So 10 into 4 is 40. And 3 4s are 12, which I am going 52. So, if we are asked to find the minimum value out of these 31, 13, and 52, 13 is the minimum value. Got it? So, this is how we get the 13 as the minimum value, and the minimum value for 10x plus 3y is 13, and which is occurring at the point 1, 1. So, this is the point. At this point, we occur the, the minimum value occurs. Understood, children? Okay, let's take. One more question. Now, this is little application-based question. Okay, this question is there for IGCSE, even for 12th CBSE. So, Xenia must, she buys X lemons and Y oranges. She must buy at least two lemons. And she must buy more oranges than lemons. She must buy a total of at least eight lemons and oranges. Write down the three inequalities x and y. So for writing each inequality, children, you get one mark. Okay. At least two lemons. So at least two lemons, the inequality is x is greater than or equal to two. So two is included. At least two. X are the lemons. So x is greater than or equal to two is your first inequality. Next, she says she must buy more oranges than lemons. So comparison between the oranges and lemons. So oranges are more. So the equality is. The inequality here is going to be y is greater than x. Okay. It is more. So clearly y is more than x. So y is greater than x. She buys more oranges than lemons. So the next inequality is y is greater than x. The third is she must buy a total of at least 8 lemons. At least. So 8 is included. Both of them, oranges and lemon added together should be at least 8. And it can be more than 8. So, x plus y greater than equal to 8. So, writing these three inequalities, children, you get three marks now. The next, you are asked to represent the unwanted region over here. You have to show the region R which satisfies the three inequalities. So, remember to show the region which is required. We plot the inequalities and shade the unwanted region. So, our region which is required remains intact. So, we first... Draw the line x is equal to 2. This is our line. The unwanted region for x is equal to 2 is all this because all the points on this satisfy will uh, this side. If I take 4, of course, 4 is going to be greater than right. So this is the unwanted region. Next is y is greater than x. For that, we draw a line y is equal to x. So y is equal to x. We know the 2, 2, 4, 4. These are going to be the points. And we draw the line. And it is a broken line because it is greater than no equal to over there. The unwanted region for y is equal to x is shown. After that, we plot the graph for x plus y is equal to 8. Now, x plus y is equal to 8. If you want, you can make a table, but, but this was a bit easy. So, x plus y is equal to 8. Your points, if you are, are taking x and y, you, if you take x is equal to 0, you get y is equal to 8. Okay. If you take y is equal to 0, you are getting x is equal to 8. We plot these points. And then this is again a solid line. So the points which are, you know, required for satisfying this region are going to lie over here. So all the unwanted region is this side. So we share the unwanted region for x plus y. So we plot the line x plus y is equal to 8. And children, x plus y is equal to 8. So if I take this point, if I take this point, say my this point is 3 and 4. Okay, x coordinate is 3 and 4. If I substitute here in this equation, x is 3 and y is 4. 3 plus 4 is 7. And 7 is not greater than or equal to 8, right? So this is the region which actually does not satisfy the inequality. So we shade the region, region below. 
the region below on this side does not satisfy the inequality. So we share this region and we are left with the region which is required. So which is the region? This is the region which satisfies all the three inequalities. So this region satisfies all the three inequalities. Now, the next what we do is you are asked to find a lemon cost dollar one and an orange cost dollar two. Find the smallest amount of money that she spends. Okay. A lemon is costing dollar one and the orange is costing dollar two. You have to find the smallest amount of money. So minimum value. So we what do we do over here? We take the remember what you have to remember that maximum or minimum value will always occur at near the corners of the required region. So we take the points at the corners now and then we make a table. Okay. So or you can take at two six what is the going to cost instead of making table even you can do in this way. So at two six. So two six is this point. Okay. At two six if I substitute in this Okay, 2 into 1 plus 6 into 2. At least 2. So find the cost that lemon cost dollar 1 and orange cost dollar 2. Find the amount, smallest amount of money that she spends. Now, children, we have shown the three inequalities. We have shaded the unwanted region. We have received the wanted region. The next question here is a lemon cost dollar 1. And an orange cost dollar two. Find the smallest amount of money that she spends. So what we have to remember, children, that the maximum or minimum values will always occur at near the corners of the required region. Okay, near the corners of the required region. So if I take this point, if I take this point, this coordinate is two six. So let us first show the points at the corners. So the points at the corners are these ones, which are in the required region. So the first point is two six. Okay, now each, now if I take x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 6, that means 2 lemons and 6 oranges. So 1 lemon cost dollar 1, so it is 2 into 1 and the oranges, each orange is costing dollar 2. So it is going to be 2, since the 6 are the oranges, so it is going to be 2 into 6 and that is how we get the cost, the total cost as dollar 14. So at 2, 6, at this point, 2, 6, we get the cost as $14, okay? The next, we are asked to find the smallest amount. So we will be taking all these three points. So now we take the point 3, 5. So this is my point 3, 5. So if I take three lemons and five oranges, it is going to cost me $13, okay? So 3 into 1, because the cost of a lemon is $1, and cost of an orange is $2. So 3 into 1 plus 5 into 2, 3 plus 10, I get $13. And if I take 4, 5, this is the point 4, 5, okay? And I put 4 lemons. 4 lemons are going to cost me 4 into $1. And 5 oranges are going to cost me 5 into 2. So I get $14. So if you are asked to find the smallest amount out of this, which is going to be the smallest? So with these three points, I get $13. And the minimum, the smallest amount, it is occurring at the point 3, 5. Understood all of you? Okay, these are very, very important questions, children. If you like the video, do share with your friends. And if you are new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.